Hi, it's Emma Nago. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get um, waterproof makeup. Um, so you can go swimming, you can go to the ocean, you can go to the pool, you can do any type of activity that um, involves water. I'm also going to show you some um, swimsuit ideas at the end of this video. That was kind of awkward. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have some swimsuit ideas at the end of the video, so make sure you watch it to the end. And um, yes, this makeup, which is this right here, is really natural and it's really waterproof. It should stay um, on your face. Just don't touch your face. If you touch it, you're going to smear it. Like if your face is wet and you touch it, you're going to ruin it. So just don't touch it. If you just let it be, then it's not going to run. It's not going to smear um it's going to stay so just let it be going to the pool or going to the ocean for me personally i still like to wear makeup i know a lot of people don't so if you don't like to wear makeup feel free to not wear it and do whatever you want but um for the people who want to wear makeup but just don't really know how to make sure that makeup lasts in the water this is the tutorial for you i like to keep it natural when it comes to being in the water because you know after all it is the water and the more makeup you put on the more makeup can smear and smudge and be ruined make sure you watch in high definition um, so you can see me up close and personal like really up close and personal yeah I know it's not really the season to do um, this type of beachy kind of tutorials but I mean in Australia it is summer now um, so if you live in Australia, then you can use this. And I mean, you can also go to the pool, like an indoor pool, even if it's winter. That's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna go to, to an, indoor, an indoor pool. So that's what inspired this tutorial. Right now, it's really freezing cold in Denmark. There's like so much snow outside and I'm sitting in here in my room in a freaking bikini. And I'm actually also wearing, I'm wearing socks, I know. <laughs> That's not so pretty. But like my feet would be so cold if I didn't wear socks. So I'm just wearing my bikini and socks. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, now we're gonna go on to the tutorial. Okay, so first we're going to apply foundation. I'm using Maybelline's 24 hour Superstay um, foundation. My cover is the lightest one. And, um... Excuse my nails, I just painted them, so that's why they look like this. And I'm going to apply my foundation with a sponge. I showed these sponges from H&M in my last haul. And I got a lot of people telling me to use water with these sponges. And um, I already used water. I used Fix Plus from MAC to just spray my sponge. And in that way, um, give it something to work with. So it doesn't just soak up all my foundation, but I still find I still find these sponges to be very very fluffy. Um, you can see how much I can squeeze it. Yeah, they actually work quite well, anyways, and I have learned to work with them. So I'm going to use this to apply my foundation. And then, of course, some concealer around the eye area. I'm gonna use MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. And first I'm going to apply it with this concealer brush from e.l.f. It's from the studio line, and then I'm going to blend it out with a sponge. Okay, so we're already looking a lot brighter. So now we're going to set the makeup with some powder. Well, first of all, this concealer is waterproof, but the powder on top will really make the makeup sealed, sealed, and it will make it more waterproof. So I'm using two powders as usual. I'm using Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in Transparent and MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. I'm using this all over, and this just on any critical areas and on my ears and to apply them with i'm gonna use uh, these elf brushes i'm using this big one which is elf studio 
powder brush and this small one which is Elves uh, blending eyeshadow brush from the essentials line Okay, so next up are the brows. Basically, anything goes when it comes to brows and water, um, except for the really creamy and runny um, brow pencils. So I will stick to a powder, a wax, um, a filler, like a gel, or a harder type brow pencil. So I'm gonna use um, this uh, brow pencil from Rimmel. It's their eyebrow pencil, and it's in hazel. And I'm gonna top it off with some of the wax from Elf Studio Eyebrow Kit in Ash. It's this one over here, and you can see I have still glitter in it. But first, I want to get all of the junk out of my eyebrows, all the powder, foundation, concealer, whatever. So I'm using um, a toothbrush that I just used for my brows. So I'm just gonna comb it out. Or brush it out, whatever. Okay, and to use the gel, I'm just gonna use this um, eyebrow brush from Ego Tools. Okay, so the brows are on. So for the eyes, I'm only going to curl my lashes and apply and apply some waterproof mascara. Um, I just I'm just trying to keep it really simple. And of course, you want to use waterproof mascara. If you're gonna be in the water and there's nothing new under the sun I'm gonna use my killer combo which is sure Morris eyeless color the best eyeless color and a Maybelline the falsies mascara in Do you guys see that right there? Ugh, I'm always making a mess, but don't worry, we're gonna clean it up. Just keep on applying your mascara. And I know I say this in like every makeup tutorial I do, but mascara makes such a huge difference. Like just look at that eye and then compare it to this. You could leave it at this with just one coat. But I think I'm gonna add a coat more and um, you know every time I'm thinking about should I do it or should I not can I be bothered can I not then I always think about Eminem's berserk um, life to short to not go for broke and then I always do it because I'm like fuck it if it's worth doing it's worth doing right okay so if you got mascara on your eyelid or underneath your eye Take your concealer brush again with a little bit of your concealer on it and just erase it. And just go over with a little bit of powder. And that's basically the eyes done. Okay, so now I'm going to do some contour. And I'm using this e.l.f. Uh, Studio Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in St. Lucia. So it has this bronzer and it has this blush. I'm going to use the contour first or the bronzer. And I'm going to take this uh, Milani Bait Bronzer. And I'm going to get this little um, brush that comes with it. So you can see it's really sharp like this. So I find it really great to do um, contour around my cheeks with. So there we have the basic contour, we're going to boil it. Okay, so instead of going like this, now take it and go like that to blend it. And I always contour my nose because I love the way my nose looks when it's contoured. So, ew. So, you could contour the rest of the face. Um, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, 
I'm going to skip it and just look. I'm just going to buff out my contour a little bit more with this, uh, my, with my powder brush and my powder foundation. And then I'm going to apply some blush and I'm going to use this blush over here with um, Elf's uh, Studio Blush Brush. Just right here on the, on the apple. And then blend into the contour. And finally, I'm finishing off with a little bit of bronzer. And this was uh, Milani's Babe Bronzer. And I'm going to use this kind of like a highlighter. So I'm going to highlight my cheekbones up here with it. And over here. And just a little bit on the tip of my nose. And cubicle. And then a little bit right here on my brow bones. And then lastly, all that's left um, is lips. And I'm just going to stick to a tinted lip balm. And this is um, Essence um, Tinted Lip Balm. And I believe the color is Fruit Crush. But you can see all the writing has been rubbed off. So I don't quite remember. But it looks like this. It's just a tinted lip balm with kind of a pinky pearly finish. I'm gonna take my hair down. Okay, so that is your waterproof makeup tutorial done. So this should last whether you're swimming in the pool or the ocean or wherever. So now I'm going to give you some swimsuit ideas. So I just um, took the camera a little bit back so you can see uh, my outfits better, well my swimsuits better. So this is uh, swimsuit number one. So it's from H&M and it's this yellow set and um, the top looks like this. It's a halter neck and it's more kind of like a bra type bikini which is great if you have larger breasts because it holds your breasts bigger. Bigger it holds your breasts better. God damn. And this just ties in the back and at the neck. Okay and these are the bottoms. So they also just tie at the sides. And this is really comfortable to wear and I don't worry about my uh, boobs falling, jumping, whatever, out of my bikini top. Okay, so this is bikini number two. So it's this kind of white and turquoise slash green slash blue bikini. So this also has straps around the neck and it also ties in the back. And this type of bikini top, I believe you call this for a... Bandle, and this is really great if you have smaller breasts. Um, it's not so great if you have bigger breasts because your breasts might fall out of it. Um, I have worn this bikini, and that has happened to me, and that was not that fun. But um, yeah, the only one who saw it was my mom, <laughs> so whatever. But whatever, if you want to wear it, then wear it. Who cares, right? Okay, so I'm just going to show you the back. And the bottom is this more kind of a regular panty bottom. And um, this kind of uh, bottom is really great if you um, don't feel comfortable wearing the string um, bottom because this covers a little bit more. So last but not least is my personal favorite bikini which is also from H&M and it's this black one and um, it has these long I believe this is called like a fringe and again this ties around the neck and in the back and this has um, the really kind of um, classic triangles which is like a classic bikini shape so let me show you the back And for the bottom, again, this is kind of the bikini you tie at the sides. And I just want to say a little note that um, I feel like you can wear whatever you want also to the beach. I feel like you can wear whatever you want, wherever you want, however you want, whenever you want. I feel like it's important you're comfortable in your own skin and just have fun. That's the most important thing. Just have fun and don't worry, like don't give a fuck. Okay, that's all. I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on my social networks. All links are down below. 
and um until next time take care bye bye